McDonald's, one of the world's most famous fast food restaurants. Even though it's not very healthy, it can be very convenient. Since McDonald's is open 24 hours a day, but even in such a fun and friendly place, strange things can happen that even if you tried, you aren't able to forget them. Something like this happened to me. A story so unnerving and terrifying that I'll never forget. It happened three years ago, when I was 17. I was in desperate need of a job because to complete my education I needed to pay off my college fees. Finally, I got a job in McDonald's to make my boss happy. I had to work whatever shift he asked me to do, whether it be a night or a day shift, and to work as many hours as he wanted. At this point, I had been working at McDonald's for three months, but I had only been working day shifts. One day, my boss called me into his room and told me that because I had been working at McDonald's for months now and gained a lot of experience, I was ready for night shifts. My boss also told me that night shifts can be very quiet and asked me if I had a problem with it. I told him that no, it wouldn't bother me. My boss told me that I would start my night shifts from Saturday. That'd be from 12 o'clock till 5 o'clock. I arrived at McDonald's at 12 o'clock on Saturday. My manager told me that my tasks were to refill the ketchup, mayonnaise, and barbecue sauce bottles, clean the floor, and clean the tables. He gave me a long list of things to do. After telling me everything, the manager went home. McDonald's was fairly quiet that night, but I didn't really notice the silence because I was busy in my work. I needed to do a lot. As I was doing my work, I never really noticed the time, and suddenly, it was two o'clock. It was a little odd, I noticed, that no customers arrived in McDonald's until that time, but I was fine with it. I just wanted to finish my work quickly, since tomorrow I had to report it to the manager. I was arranging coffee cups on the table, when I suddenly felt like I was being watched it was a weird feeling, but I took no notice of it. I told myself that since I had no experience of working late, the weird feeling was because of me staying up. Suddenly, my eyes glanced at the window. When I looked out, I saw a strange black shape. Like someone was standing right there, staring at me. And I just thought that must be my imagination. Who would stand outside at this time of night? I continued my work and started cleaning the tables. A bit later, my attention went to the window again. Now it seemed that the black shape was closer. But I reassured myself that I was just seeing things. Nothing of that sort was happening. It was due to tiredness. Then I decided not to look outside anymore and focus on cleaning the tables. So I continued working. I was busy doing my work when I heard a noise. I can see you. I can see you. I immediately looked outside. And when I did, my fears were confirmed. A demon whose eyes were red like blood was staring at me and constantly banging on the window.
I couldn't stay there for a minute longer. I immediately hung the closed sign on the front door, got into my car and ran for my life. I was terrified. I called my manager and told him that due to sickness I was going home. My manager said that it was fine I could go. I didn't want to tell him what happened to me that night because I knew if I did, he wouldn't believe me and I would seem like a fool. Somehow, I managed to drive home. I felt a sort of safety and relief as I reached home and decided that night that I would never, ever do a night shift again, even if I have to find another job.